Welcome to Smock Alley Theatre of 1662, Dublin's oldest, newest theatre. Patrick Sutton is my name. I'm director here. You're very welcome. Please, why don't you come inside? 350 years ago, Smock Alley Theatre first opened for business in 1662. In 2012, the doors opened once again on the next chapter in the life of Smock Alley Theatre. We're asking you, if you can, to get involved with us in helping to tell the Smock Alley story into the future. This theatre where we are right now is one of the most important in Western Europe, and that's, that's not overstating the case. It was the first purpose-built theatre after the Restoration. It was the theatre where the greatest actor of his age, David Garrick, first played Hamlet. It was the stage where the first production of a play by a woman by a professional company was staged in 1663. It was, you know, quite simply part of the axis that made up the theatre world in the 18th century. Well, I think it's always significant when a new theatre opens, but when a new theatre opens, it's based on a theatre that was founded all those years ago, 1662, I understand, then the significance is not only immediate, but it's also historical. The idea that once again in Dublin, a, a venue that had such a history and indeed had fallen into disrepair, it was no longer a venue, is now a place not just for um, theatre of the present, but also theatre of the future. The fact that it's connected with the Gaiety School, the fact that it is a new space, and the fact that it looks so magnificent um, gives it a significance all to itself. Obviously historic significance, but also, I think, a significance for the future that uh, is incalculable. So, here we are in the main theatre, where the plays of the past, the present, and indeed the future have an opportunity to breathe once again. In a theatre, where the sight lines are perfect, the seats are comfortable, and the actors are the finest you're going to see in any theatre in the world. What's that? They're raising them up. <laughs> They're coming this way. <laughs> it's Christie. <laughs> so while we're here, I just wanted to show you the boys' school theatre here at Smock Alley. It's being used all the time by young, dynamic, innovative, independent artists who are creating the future in this very space. Well, uh, philanthropy was emphasised in our programme for government and over the past year, both this department and the Arts Council have put in place two programmes to encourage philanthropy. Uh, our scheme, there has been a major take up on it and also the Arts Council will now be launching their initiative shortly and both schemes coming together I'm convinced will create a whole new attitude towards philanthropy in this country. With the huge support of so many people we've managed to get to where we are today. Indeed one of the most exciting and rewarding parts of this whole project was when we undertook an archaeological excavation and we revealed the original footprint of the original theatre of 1662 and surrounding the stage there was the popcorn of the day, the oyster shells, there were people's pipes, wine bottles, glasses, all the things that you would have brought to the theatre in the 17th century. And one of the most exciting things for us was discovering these and making sure that they're documented for generations to come. Well, Smock Alley is quite unique. It's uh, certainly the oldest theatre in this country and it has that great heritage about it, which is so important. And apart from the programme that's going on in Smock Alley at the moment, it's a very, very important uh, building architecturally. This building was originally opened as a theatre in 1662. Um, it, 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 it was here as a theatre, part of the centre of Dublin life, um, right up across the way here is Dublin Castle, the courts are right over there. It was very much at the epicentre of Irish life in the 18th century. Then it stopped being a theatre and it was closed in 1789 and it did something quite astounding. It hid in plain sight for 200 years. It was here as a church for over 200 years, right in the centre of Dublin, and people forgot that it was actually the theatre building. And it was only when archaeological work in the last couple of decades started to look at the old church that they realised the church was the theatre. So while all the other theatres of that period have been torn down and rebuilt, and whether you look at Covent Garden or you look at Drury Lane or any of those other theatres, this theatre has remained intact. So it's a gem. It's a gem of 
theater architecture. And it's, it's not just part of Ireland's theater history, it belongs to world theater history. And it is of that magnitude. And in terms of what we're looking for, we're seeking your support. We're asking you to get involved in telling the Smock Alley story into the future in a variety of different ways, whether it's through supporting Smock Alley players, our resident company, whether it's supporting our program for young people or indeed seniors. There are a variety of different ways in which you can get involved. I'd like to invite you to Dublin. I'd like you to come and see the historic significance of what we've done in reinstating for Dublin, for Ireland and indeed for the world this most historic theatre of 1662. So John, you, you might just tell us why you decided some years ago to support and get involved in a, a, ph a philanthropic gesture towards Smock Alley Theatre. Well, I, I decided to get involved with Smock Alley uh, because uh, I love theatre and in particular the vision as articulated by you of what could happen at Smock Alley. I was very aware that Smock Alley was an ancient and uh, historic space that wasn't used anymore. And it excited me to think that this, that your vision could bring it back to life for a modern audience. And as I sit here talking to you in the theatre today, looking at the bare brick walls, you can, you can feel the ghosts of actors from hundreds of years walking through this space. And it's, it's, a, it's a moving experience. And I think audiences that come here will be aware of that. Uh, I'm proud to be a supporter of the Smock Alley Theatre and I think the reinstating of it in this very modern uh, and user-friendly way is, uh, is a, something to be really proud of and I'm proud to be associated with it. I think it's important for people, if they have the resources, to see um, a bigger picture here. It's not just a matter of supporting an individual organisation or an individual building. It's building an infrastructure for the future an infrastructure that will allow young artists, young directors, young writers, young actors, and indeed a new audience to celebrate the idea of Dublin as a city that embraces the arts. And Dublin has always been such a city, and the idea of um, Smock Alley being now at the forefront of a new future for the arts in Ireland makes it absolutely imperative that those who can afford give something to make certain that this future is achieved. I'd like to thank you for spending some time with us as we tell the Smock Alley story. I would also ask you to consider getting involved with us in making some sort of a philanthropic a contribution to the telling of the Smock Alley story into the future. Thank you very much for being with us and I look forward to welcoming you to Smock Alley in the future. Thank you very much indeed.